Okay, HHO sports fans, this is the big day. Two years and over six months trying to get a car to run on water. What we have here is the whole test setup outside next to the car. We have four battery chargers here. This is the uh, charger or the power supply for the uh, the driver, the MOSFET driver here. Of course, the uh, BK function generator, we're going to be running squirrel waves about 15 cycles per second. This is another battery charger, another battery charger, another battery charger, and the big one here. We've got four battery chargers to keep this thing constantly charged to over 60 some amps. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to bring this cell up to uh, pressure. Right now, it's, it's empty. And, uh, and then we're going to start the car. That's simple. There's the regulator here. We're going to be regulating it for 60 pounds of pressure. As we found that's what the uh, this car needed. It's a 2010 Ford Escape. It's a 2.5 liter four cylinder. It's got the spark plug, uh, the coils on the spark plugs. There's no waste spark in this this uh, ignition system. We tapped into the fuel injection rail right here. We have the pressure gauge right here, and that goes right over to the regulator we got right here. So here's the hose, gauge, fuel injection rail right here. This is the original line to the uh, fuel pump has been plugged off. It's right down here. Took that out today. We also ran the vehicle up as you see in the earlier video to find out what the pressure was uh, normally from the fuel pump. It was about 60 pounds, 65 uh, dealer told me it needed to be about 55, so we checked it out ourselves and found out it was a little higher. Could be the gauge, we don't know, but anyhow, we're using the same gauge we checked it from the factory. We're going to give it the same pressure here. So, regardless of how accurate that gauge may or may not be, it doesn't matter because we're running the same pressure that gasoline was giving it. And we get the battery here. What we're going to be doing is the HHO cell. Uh, the plasma cell runs on 12 volts, actually about 13.8 volts ideally, because uh, the ionization energy for oxygen and hydrogen is about 13.6 volts, so those plasma cells ideally need to be getting about 13.8 or higher. PWM won't do it. Uh, needs to be that high voltage to run that thing. So what we're going to be doing is running it off the battery at first, and it clamps on here. This is for the plasma cell. We're going to be getting off the battery first, the ones that brings the pressure up, we're going to take and unhook it and put it over on the car here once it starts. Once it starts, the plasma cell will be charged off the alternator, 13.8 uh, volts, and the uh, HHO tubes will be charged off of these four uh, battery chargers. So there you have it. And this is the, uh, the vehicle, 2010 Ford Escape.